okay hi guys i am going to be uh, demonstrating what extracted ion chromatogram and total ion chromatogram is so i'm going to keep this video very short and elusive for you to understand it quickly right so if in simple terms uh, the total ion chromatogram is nothing but an aggregation of multiple extracted ion chromatograms so here i am drawing one extracted ion chromatogram also known as eic okay i am drawing an eic here where the x axis represents the rt sorry x axis represents the rt or the retention time and the y axis represents the abundance i'm just going to write a b d for abundance right now in this we can see some peaks i'm going to draw the peaks something like this okay now the feature of a extracted ion chromatogram is that it is at a particular mz all right or it is at a particular mass by charge so let's just consider it is at mass by charge 110 okay now what this means is at 110 mz it has found one two three four five six six peaks at different are these okay now like i said before that the total ion chromatogram is nothing but multiple eic's sorry multiple eic's stacked upon each other each other okay now to visualize this i'm going to draw three eic's something somewhat like this and they are basically stacked upon each other so let me just select this and copy paste okay this is one this is another for simplicity i'm just considering three and here now i have three dimensions number one dimension here is the rt okay number two dimension is the abundance this is this vertical axis rt is this axis now the third dimension here is mz now this one is just one of these okay so this is at 110 this is at something 120 this is at 130 and all of these have different peak information okay now for 120 this is something like this for 130 it is something like this just two small peaks and if we now if we visualize this thing from the front that is i am viewing i'm trying to view this from this axis now then we are going to see a very different view which is the total ion chromatogram which is also known as the total ion chromatogram now if i try to draw it it would be something of this sort i'll draw it with gray the total ion chromatogram i'll draw it gray it will be something of this sort okay now this is made of three components the 110 mz which is in yellow okay the 120 mz which is in blue okay 
again this might be something like this 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 and the third one is 130 so it was something like this all of these add up these three add up to give me the total line chromatogram and the axis of the total line chromatogram are basically the rt in the x-axis and the abundance in the y-axis uh, okay so that's it for this video thanks for watching bye bye